David, what are you doing? Oh, I'm filling my shoes up with extra air so I can walk on water. What? Um, I'm pretty sure that is not going to work. Let me see this thing. Uh, David, this, this isn't even oxygen. This is helium. That makes things float in the air. David? A little bit of help up here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is David. And I'm Casey. And today, we'll be talking about one of the most amazing stories in the Bible. We're talking about the time that Jesus walked on the water. That's right. And he didn't even use any tricks, like filling his shoes with extra air. Yeah, but that's because he wore sandals, and those things are terrible at holding air. No. <laughs> That's not why, it's because it doesn't work. And besides, Jesus didn't need to use any tricks like that because he had the power to perform miracles. I totally agree with you. But if Jesus had floaty shoes like me, then maybe it would have helped him float just a little bit more so he wouldn't have used up as much of his miracle juice. Miracle juice? That's not a thing. You see, Jesus is God. He has the power to do anything at any time. It's not like he has a tank of miracle juice that runs out. Yeah, you're right. I just wanted my water walking shoes to work so bad. You know what? Instead of me sulking over my silly shoes, though, maybe we should read the story. How about this? In just a second, press pause on the video. Then open your Bible and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, we'll see you back here. Isn't that amazing? Jesus should have been sinking into the water, but instead he floated big time. And you know what? That gives me an idea for today's challenge. We're gonna play a little game called Sink or Float. Here's how it works. We've got five different items. For each item, we have to guess if it will sink or float. And to make things more interesting, at the end of the episode, the person who guesses the most wrong gets this water dumped on her head. Wait. Her head? Uh, yeah, because we both know you're going to lose. Oh man, you are on! And here's what makes this extra fun. You guys can play at home too. For each item, see if you can guess if it sinks or floats. You ready for this? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. The first item is a banana. What do you think, sink or float? I think sink. I think float. Mm, okay, here we go. What do you guys think at home? Ah, yeah, it floats. No. It floats one to nothing. I am winning. All right, the next item is a can of Spam. What do you think, oh, sink or I, float? I think sink, those things are pretty heavy. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I think sink too. All right, let's see what it does. Ooh. Yeah, that sank a, big time. Quick, yeah, quick that went sink. straight down. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, I'm on the scoreboard. You are I'm on, on the scoreboard. scoreboard. All right. Two to one. I am still winning. All right. Next item is a bottle of glue. Sink or float? I say sink. I say float. Ooh. All right. Let's find out. Does the glue sink or float? It oh, floats. Tied man. it up. Tied it up. Oh. Okay. All right. Two to Tied go. Up. Two to go. Two to two. And now we have a potato. Do you think this sinks or floats? I don't know, it's kind of heavy, but I wanna say potatoes float. I just feel like I've seen them float before. You do? I feel like, yeah. I feel like they don't float. I feel like they sink. Uh, okay, let's find out. Sink or float, please float. Yeah! No! I'm ahead, I'm ahead. No! Going into the final round. How did I lose the lead? Uh, okay, <laughs> out with the potato. The last item is 
a chicken wing. What do you think, sink or float? I think float. I think sink. All right, mm. let's find out. Chicken wing, sink or float? float Come float, on, float, float, float. sink, sink. No! Yeah! Oh, no. tied it up. It's a tie. Does it wait? Does that mean that we both won? No, no, no. It means we both lost. At the end of the episode, we're both going to get soaked. Oh man, I am not looking forward to that at all. But I guess those are the rules. Yeah. I guess so, but that's still so awesome. The banana and the glue floated just like Jesus in the Bible story. But in the story, Jesus didn't just float, he walked on the water. Not only that, he helped Peter do the same thing. For a few incredible moments, Peter stepped out of the boat and walked on the water with Jesus. That's right. But then Peter did something that caused him to sink. You see, Peter took his eyes off of Jesus. He focused on his problems and began to doubt. And do you know what? The same thing can happen to us when we take our eyes off of Jesus. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We all face big problems sometimes. For Peter, it was the wind and the waves, but, but for us, it might be something like our parents getting divorced or getting into a big fight with our friend or having someone we love get sick. When big problems like these come up, it's easy to do what Peter did. It's easy to turn all of your focus onto the problem instead of looking to Jesus. But when you do that though, you will start to sink further and further and further into doubt. And before you know it, you're completely sunk. Yeah, when you just focus on your problems, you can start to doubt that Jesus has the power to help you. You can doubt that he cares about you or your problems. You can doubt that you'll ever get through this. And that's when you need to do what our Bible verse for today says. Take a look at this. Let us keep looking to Jesus. Hebrews 12, 2. When you do that, when you keep looking to Jesus, it takes your focus off of your problems. So let us keep looking to Jesus. In other words, let's keep thinking about him, praying to him, and, and reading his word, the Bible. That's what helps you stand firm in your faith and keeps you from sinking into doubt. Hey, you know what? That actually makes me think of a question. Do you have any problems or fears right now? How could you look to Jesus for help? Press pause and discuss. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you had some great conversation. Here's my challenge for you this week. Whenever you face big problems in your life, Instead of focusing on the problems, keep looking to Jesus. Think about him, pray to him, read his word. Don't sink into doubt. Stand firm in your faith and know that Jesus cares about you and has power over all of your problems. That's such a good challenge. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again next week. Yeah, bye everybody. You have any chicken wings left? Hold on, time out, time out. What are you guys doing? Oh, hey, Jordan. We're just doing the silly outtakes like we always do. I mean, did you think that we would just forget? Forget, forget about, about what? what? Oh! <laughs>